A D S R Pro. Hi guys, welcome back to EDSR Pro with me, Mike Smith. We're looking at Halion 6 and this time we're going to look at the sampler and I'm just quickly going to show you a way of chopping some samples up so that you could use them in your productions. So we've created a program, just going to drag it across again. And all I'm going to do is literally drag a sample from a folder into the program. There we go. And now that we're in the slice menu, we can basically slice it up. So we've got the options here of main, loop and slice. We're going to go in the slice menu. We've got the mode set to transient and we're just going to mess with the threshold, sensitivity and minimum length. So let's bring that down a little bit. Let's get a few more on there. Bring it down again. And we'll leave that about there. Now, it's worth spending time with this and setting up your exact locations properly. I'm just quickly going to go in and put a few. So if I hold down Alt, I can actually click and add another point. Let's move that one across a little bit. And let's move that one to, let's say, let's do that one there. That one there. I'm not going to go through all of these. I'm just going to quickly show you. So there we go, we've added those. And um, once we're happy, we can just click apply. And if we now look at our mapping tab, you can see there each individual slice is now mapped across our keyboard. So let's 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 get away. Let's 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 get away to and get away. Let's 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 get away. Another another place. Let's get away to another get to get, get away. So there's our samples. Obviously you can hear there you know really cool effects you could obviously um, trigger that via many different things obviously your MIDI keyboard you could maybe put an arpeggiator on for some sort of glitchy vocal effects uh, but initially that's pretty much all we're going to do we can manipulate the source again in the sound setting whereby we've got all the uh, previous things like in the other videos your amp envelope filter envelope uh, modulation matrix and step sequencer kind of thing. So we can add a bit of unison, a couple of voices, a bit of detune, a bit of pan, a bit of delay, a bit of distribution. Get away to 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 get away place. Let's get away to 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 get away to another get get away. So there you go, you can hear that now. And let's get get let's maybe add a filter. Get get away get 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 away get up get away. And let's go into the modulation matrix and let's just apply LFO one to filter. Get away, off. get away, get away, get away. And then we can speed. Get, get away, get away, get, get away, get, get away. And we could maybe add velocity. Get away, get away, get away. And again, you could go into your different envelopes, pitch envelope, amp envelope, filter envelope. Let's have a go on the pitch. Get, 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 get away, get, get away. And we would need to go to get away, get, 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 get away, get, get, get away. So there you go, you can hear some pretty interesting effects. If we go to our program bus again, click on sound, we can add the normal effects like you'd expect. And you can see there from the tree, there's absolutely loads, reverbs, delays, filters, distortions, modulations, dynamics plenty to choose from so let's go back in Play, 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 play
So you can hear some really, really interesting effects from just a basic sample. The World Your Oyster, there's so many different possibilities within this program for creating some amazing patches. I'm really just scraping the surface of what is possible within this program. Hopefully it'll give you an idea as to you know whether you think the upgrade's worth it. Personally, I think it is because the potential is phenomenal. Um, we can record audio in from external instruments, microphones, guitars, synthesizers, as well as recording uh, information from VST instruments into this program. And yeah, creating your own synths, using your own macros, so many possibilities. So hope you like what I do and please, as per usual, subscribe to my channel and until next time, take care. Bye bye. A D S R Pro.